my wife and I decided that we need to help democratize luck on the continent of Africa by investing in young Africans, giving them seed capital, because we realize that first, they lack capital, two, they lack training and mentorship, and three, they lack networking opportunities. So we said, let's help these young ones. Let us get them to experience the luck we experienced growing up. We operate across all 54 African countries, touching lives of young ones, our young male and female. And so what we do is to identify every year 1,000 young Africans, give them non-refundable seed capital of $5,000 each, train them, mentor them, and set the them free. The money is not necessarily the most important Correct. bit. It's the mentorship, it's the guidance, it's the opportunities and the networking. And the training. All right, the training. We have seen that if you give someone capital and you don't prepare the person, the person will not succeed. So through what we do, we train them and we see that they are succeeding. We see that they are helping to lift the needle in terms of the transformation of Africa. You talk about the economy of Africa, but you know, in recent months, the events in Niger, in Gabon and elsewhere they've once again raised fundamental questions about the investability and the risks involved. You know, well, the problem is leadership. We need to face leadership on the continent. If we face leadership on the continent, every other thing will fall in place. But we catch leaders young. We, that is why we're investing in these young African entrepreneurs, teaching them how to succeed, teaching them how to make a living from little resources that they have. But how do you teach, you know, you talk about the, the problem is leadership, but you take a country like Nigeria, which is vast, has enormous resources, and I think you would agree, should be doing better than it is. <laughs> Certainly, there's always room for improvement. Nigeria in particular, yes. the past couple of years have been very difficult. Difficult for investment, difficult for everyone, but things are changing. We have in place now a leadership that understands the importance of economy, the economy leadership that understands what it takes to fix a country, especially a country as strategic, not just to Africa, but to the world as Nigeria, a country of over 200 million people, a country that's endowed in resources, both human and natural. But the good thing is things are improving, and that is why, again, what we do at the Tony Elmelu Foundation is important, not just for Nigeria, but for all of Africa. What is the key to prevent your most talented from leaving, or, turning to extremism or corruption. What is the key? The key, good leadership at national level, at the government level, but more importantly, all of us, private sector leaders, philanthropists, global leaders, governments in Africa and Nigeria, working collaboratively to give economic hope and opportunity to our young ones. People who have hope and opportunities, see opportunities, they don't go into extremism. They don't exile. They don't leave the country in very excruciating circumstances because they believe that life is better in other parts of the world. In our lifetime, we want to see them survive and succeed in Africa, right. in spite of the challenges we have on the continent. And that is why I'm here at UNGA, to play my own role, to galvanize for that support, to enable us scale up what we do at the Tony Melo Foundation. We commit our 100 million US dollars to support the new young Africa, but it's thinning out. We have so, so far supported 18,000. We should be supporting hundreds of thousands of young Africans. It's a continent of 1.6 billion people. It is a national, in fact, a global issue that all of us must come together to resolve. And so when I have opportunity like this, I say to the world, let us come together to fix this problem because Poverty anywhere is a threat to all of us everywhere.